And it's, it's like a lot. What you could also see in, like in the tournaments that um, people don't know how to end specific things. Yeah, playing scam. I guess like four extra life is a reason why it <laughs> goes like longer. But yeah. Ah, damn. That's annoying. No spells in turn one. Hello, Matt Shatter. How are you doing? Most likely flip the frog here. Let's see. Nice. That's really good. To get the oil there. Because you don't want to be on one spell enough at level two, uh, turn two. Uh, this is actually close. Maybe I meant doing that. If he has like only one attack, this is good. If he has two attacks, this is kind of terrible. <laughs> uh, I guess it's fine. It doesn't enter any other way, really. So yeah, we got the freshen up. That's nice. I might take like a second frog. That's really good. Let's do we take the square I guess we can take a roll first. Square was better than all of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Definitely, it doesn't sound too bad. I actually take Snow White here because I also have like a sword sword. Oh God. Like one of the worst three drops which can pop out here. Favorite comp. I mean, I kind of like to play mages in general. Um, I just wish basically that the late game was shorter to some degree. Um, that not everyone gets two full comps. Right now, it feels a little bit the way that um, people get like too much in the long term. Let's take the 6-5 here. Could take like a Kameon, but let's roll if we find something better to play. Like 8-6 Fox, I guess. That. I'm not sure. I think I would like to see less gold. Get rid of the free rolls. So that people don't have like that. 
can just always force like the same stuff. That's basically it. Uh, nothing. I guess we take the fox. Let's take the agent. Hmm. So in Storybook Boy, I felt the way that you never got to a complete comp. And here it looks like it's more that you always see like the same comps at the end playing against each other. Yeah, the rating of the minions is also one thing, but I think this most likely get rid of the free roll and get rid of above 12 gold maybe. Yeah, it's kind of that you, like there are some exceptions to that, but it's because you can be like open-minded and say, oh, the shop give me this, I'm playing that now. Uh, but most of the time it just, I'm rolling for my stuff, yeah, because I'm finding something. Also to take like two different level 6 units which leads you to like two different ways of game it's not of, uh, often not really great so nothing here got so far my shops are pretty bad Let's take that. I mean, why not? Taylor is like a good unit. Could give like the Taylor plus two plus two. That's like the first rule yet. Yeah, we take that. I also kind of liked it more that at the start where you had um, different, uh, where you had like a combined pool of out of units and it gets emptied basically by people buying stuff. I liked it more than everyone can just force the same stuff. Right now we are seeing kind of what it is when something is too strong. So everyone is just doing actually kind of nice. Um, 
doing more or less the same stuff. Obviously, Peter not really. Mm, let's take one more roll. At least as units. Let's take a spell. Let's actually take an item. Yeah, it's like always hard to balance stuff with kissing and things like that. But I liked it more when it's a, when it's a little bit self-balancing. Damn, both of them didn't slay. That sucks a little bit. But we got the plus one plus one for the shop. So at least something. Three more items. Okay, there we go. That's actually a pretty nice shop. Because we definitely take out this spell. We are right now level 3, which is kind of fine. I guess we take like a sheep item to get this one going. Would have been nice to find basically a Romeo here. Maybe I'll take like one extra roll. No. So now, how do I play this the best way? It's most likely something like that. This Romeo was a little bit weak. I guess I could play it like that. That's all right. So we really want to activate the additional shop buff now. And we actually get it. So that's good. One more. Can form sometimes form a Romeo. Let's take it. Let's take it. Got the head. That's nice. And we got again at the end of the turn. 
deal with the devil. Maybe I should take like an acolyte for now. Let's Interesting, I take it. It's not really the best thing ever, but it's definitely alright. Now we have like a huge range unit, which is nice. But yeah, I kinda need T4 treasures now. Wow, this was like so bad fight RNG with like the lightning strike and everything there. And kind of incredible. So yeah, that's always like a skip. There we go. And another Juliet. And an upgrade of Juliet. This is out. Blue White is definitely also out. Double cast us in. Looks good. Now this needs to be replaced by Ravens and then we are fine. Also, we need to find like more Romeo and Juliet. Ravens? Could be actually be a reroll. Let's actually do the reroll. Mm -hmm. Swap the fool around. The so Romeo must dead. I like this for a nice spell because just to get more spells out. And we can double cast the Devil's Deal. And we have like a ton of gold to find Romeos. Potentially. There we go. Another Romeo would be awesome. Take like that. 
just to have something to play because it's just better. I mean, pretty good. That's exit. Don't really want to kiss here. Let me take another one of you. We got the rapes. that anymore. We find that found another Juliet. <laughs> yeah. Need to definitely need to keep that in mind. To not do that. Maybe I should just pick it up now. Ah, uh, taking like four damage is so feels so unnecessary. It's most likely even that, to be honest. Why do you try to play dwarves, Nizza? Wow, oh, this apple sucked. So unlucky fight, RNG. Problem right now is that this Romeo is my only Romeo. This is kind of like a big problem. Oh, there we go. Finally, a second one arrived. Oh, that's actually pretty good. We can mind maybe find even more Romeos. Keep this around. Nice. Let's actually take that. Nothing here, nothing there. Nope. Not again. Hello, click. I actually saw some Romeos from him.
Okay. Never mind. I mean, it's better than have no, have none, but it's like these um, have like no stats at all. I don't know if I'm on like in this position right now. If I take this, I can't find Victoria's next turn. Let's do it. I kinda need true yet, no? <laughs> but yeah, um... I guess we are looking for spell books and Romeos and HP. And I guess spells. So the two yet have like no stats in comparison. No. Here like the first one can definitely just suicide quite a lot of times. I guess maybe this one dies first. I guess it died first. Nice. 
I need to find more of Julia's I can't take that right now. Would it be bad or would it be good? Because like no one who is really want to win the game would play like Romeo and Juliet to be honest. Outside of Peter. Yeah, I guess we can eat it. Interesting gameplay, right? I think we have a local Sioka spell. No, actually, no. Do we lock a Sioka spell? Maybe. I just, yeah, I think that overall, like, shared pool would make the game better. I thought that basically removing from SPP the shared pool was bad for the game. And it showed, like, in several occasions that it was bad. But yeah. Yeah, Frank's Monster can be interesting. At the same time, it's not even getting like more sets than another Romeo or Juliet. Thanks, Trey, for the sub. I appreciate that.
And Sync is also really powerful to follow. GG's Yeah, to go like into Romeo and Juliet outside of Peter makes like no sense. I guess if you see like two good units from Peter Maybe, but also not really Also Peter's hero power I got this up so often. So like how Peter's hero power works is every time you level up increase the buff. So by using like the spell which gives you additional gold I'm going like one XP down below. I'm leveling up again and I'm actually get got to like plus 10 plus 10 in 20 turns. So that's kind of insane. Quite a lot. Because if you think about it after seven turns you have plus you are on plus three plus three. 